and welcome to the show. It is me, John Park, and it's time for JP's Product Pick of the Week. Here we are. Thank you so much for stopping by. And uh, what's going on here? Well, as, as is custom, what we do here on Tuesdays is we have picked a brand spanking new product to show you, to do a little, uh, couple little demos, talk about it a bit, give you a big, big discount on it. If you want to get a jump start, you can head to that URL right there or point something at that QR code. That's going to take you to the product page and this show. This very video is streaming right now live from that product page. So you can go there, you won't miss anything. And you'll be prepared to buy some if it's something you want. We are putting a huge, huge discount. We've stashed, uh, I think, 100 of them and we have them in stock. They are slashed half in, pr in price, uh, $2.48 for this week's product pick. So it's a, an inexpensive one, but you, you may want to get a few depending on your needs or get some other stuff. Uh, you don't need a coupon code. You're just going to throw it in your cart and it's going to be at that discounted price for the duration of this show. Thank you so much to the new products team. Uh, and uh, they have taken care of everything on the back end. So that is ready to go for you. Uh, you can... Find out more right now from Lady Ada. I'm going to have her just jump back a little bit in time to do her new, new, new segment on it. And then I'll be back with a, a, a demo and more. Dun, dun, dun. It's a new cutie pie. Um, I, th I personally think this is, a, you know, all, I love all the products that we've released for the last couple of weeks. Um, but this one's fun. So this is a cutie pie based on the CH32 uh, V203. G6, I think if you look on the back, it can, it's the G6. Yeah, CH32V203 G6. This is a RISC V processor from WCH. It's a very, very low cost chip. Um, it has 10K of RAM, 32K of internal flash. It has an additional 224K of flash memory that's like not one, it's not zero weight. It's like you have to access it externally. It's like QSPY memory, but it's bonded into the chip. Um, it's just like a kind of funky chip. We added Team USB support for it, thanks uh, to some contributors and tech merged in. We've also worked on making the Arduino support better. Um, it's still like a hacky chip. It's not, you know, for beginners because it's, you know, doesn't have auto reset built in and some peripherals are kind of funky and don't work. Um, but it's a pretty nicely featured microcontroller board. I think there's kind of this future of ultra low cost RISC-V chips that are going to hit the market. And I thought, you know, people have been experimenting with this board using uh, CN Lore's um, CHV2 fun, like B00 fun um, repo. And that's great for if you want to use make files. Um, it's never going to run CircuitPython, doesn't have enough memory for it. But I can see people end up like, they might port Lua to this or something. And like I said, Arduino works kind of ish okay. Um, there's like one bug with, the USB emulation on Windows, but NeoPixel works. Um, we got that merged in. I squared C does work. SPI does work. Um, you know, analog input works. You know, it's just kind of funky to see a chip that's you know, basically 40 or 50 cents, right? It's like, you know, half the price of, um, you know, a Cortex M0, but it's like, you know, a, a full peripheral friendly. Risk five chip, and uh, yeah, I, don't know. I thought we need to have a little dev board for people to um, experiment with it, especially with the plug and play stomach UT and the bootloader select button and a reset button. So, uh, plus a NeoPixel, and you know, you can um, use it as a very low cost dev board for this chip, which I think we'll see in a lot of projects. Hey, look, this is it right here. Uh, oh, you can see it. I'm gonna lift it up right now. This is the product pick of the week. It is the Cutie Pie CH32 V203 G6. It is a Cutie Pie. So it's got this great form factor that gives us uh, a lot of high quality of life conveniences such as USB-C, uh, status NeoPixel. We have I2C broken out on Stemma QT connectors, and we have a bunch of GPIO available. So uh, let's talk about this. What, what's going on with this thing? How about uh, I'll bring up I'll bring up the uh, the page here for it while we talk about it. So 
Uh, it's this, WCH is the brand, uh, the manufacturer of this chip. WCH makes a bunch of interesting stuff. This is a RISC-V chip that's running at 144 megahertz. It's a 32-bit uh, processor. Uh, and it's cheaper than most 8-bit processors, so it's, it's a really interesting one for that reason alone. It's got 10K of SRAM, 32K of single cycle flash, and then 244K of additional data storage flash. Uh, it's got I2C, it's got UART, uh, it has 12-bit ADCs, like 10 of them, uh, and a bunch of other GPIO. Uh, it is not going to run CircuitPython. It's not going to run MicroPython, but we can run Arduino on it, and we can use WCH's uh, ISP tool. Uh, there's some community support for it out there. It is cutting edge, so while it's the convenient Cutie Pie form factor, know that this is a, a pretty new chip, and it's good for hackers and advanced uh, uh, got-to-get-in-there-first kind of folks. Uh, one of the big deals on it is that the chip has USB support, and we were able to get tiny USB support on it. So that means you can do USB things with it. So it's unlike some of the uh, AT tiny chips and other things that don't have any USB support. This is really low cost, really small, and we can do USB things with it, such as keyboard, HID keyboard stuff. Um, so what else is interesting about this? Uh, the let me let me go to the uh, learn guide for it. So if you go to the page here and scroll down, uh, you'll see there's a link right there to the primary guide. Uh, if you head here, we've got an overview of the board, uh, some nice photos of it. You can see it looks like a cutie pie. It is a cutie pie. Comes with header pins, so if you want to solder those on for putting onto a breadboard uh, while you're hacking around with it, that's a good idea. Uh, of course, it also has the castellated pads, so if you develop uh, a PCB that you want to mount this on, you can do it uh, without having to worry about through-hole soldering. Uh, it has, by the way, both a boot and a reset pin on it, which makes it really convenient for putting it into bootloader mode, which I'll demonstrate in a second. If you check out the uh, next page here, pinouts page, thanks to Liz for putting this guide together, you can see we have a nice uh, pretty pins diagram there. I'm going to click on that and go to the uh, larger view there. So you can see we've got uh, these A0123 pins, which we can use as general uh, digital or analog uh, uh, GPIO pins. There's uh, SDICL if you want to do I2C right from the pins on the board, or you can use the, uh, IC, uh, the SCL SDA on the STEMI QT pin. It's listed here down at the bottom. Uh, and then what else? There's uh, TX RX pins, which also can be used as general purpose I.O. And there's SPI, three SPI pins, same deal. We can use those for uh, ADC pins or digital pins. And then we have three volt uh, ground and five volt available. There's a NeoPixel built right on board. Uh, if you back up a couple steps here, back to the guide, you can see that Liz has put together both a guide for setting it up for use with Arduino IDE, uh, as well as some example code there, and using the WCH ISP tool. Uh, and that's what I'm using, actually. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to show you some demos using that. So let's switch on over uh, to this view here. This is just a terminal. I'm on a Mac. This is my terminal program here. Uh, and I have downloaded, uh, as per the instructions here in this using WCH ISP tool, uh, once you've run through those instructions, you can just simply run this tool from the command line. Uh, so what I have is this one here is plugged in to a little breadboard. I've got a uh, jumper wire running to ground because I'm going to use that in a second. And I've also covered up the NeoPixel a little bit with some tape just because it's super, super bright. Um, so first of all, I can run this WCHISP command and it will say that it has found a device uh, and it gives us the device info there so you can see the chip is the ch32 v203 g6 u6 additional info there uh, and it has a nice hint it says you can type in wchisp info to check more chip info this will tell you things about the bootloader version it's on there uh, as well as some of the available memory uh, and then we can use this to flash the chip so i'm going to go ahead and flash this with uh, a program that is a binary. If you look in this directory, 
this is a binary that uh, Liz supplied, and I, I think she has that over on the Arduino pages, uh, but this is the output of uh, using Arduino IDE, coding the chip with the chip support that we have and the board support that we have, and then exporting a binary. So I can do WCHISP, flash, and then I'll flash it with the NeoPixel binary and uh, hit enter. You'll see it very quickly erases the existing flash, writes the code, and now it is up and running through this little rainbow cycle on the onboard NeoPixel. You can see I just covered that up so that we're, we're not blasting the camera out. Uh, and then what I can do is put it back into bootloader mode. So I'm just gonna press the boot button and then roll my finger over to the reset button and then re, re, uh, uh, let go of the boot button. So boot, reset, boot. Uh, and now it is ready again to be flashed. Let me go back to info here. Uh, so I'm gonna go ahead and flash it this time with an HID keyboard example. You can see, very quick and easy to, to flash that once you've had it compiled. Uh, and now if you watch my uh, command line there, I'm going to use this jumper cable just to touch uh, pins A0, 1, and 2, which are uh, working as buttons to type in HID keyboard stuff. So this will just type 0, 1, 2, uh, 3, 0, 1, 2, 3. So A0, A1, A2, A3 are just acting as buttons there. So I will cancel that out. Uh, and if you look back at uh, this Arduino setup here, you can see those are a couple of the examples that I was using. NeoPixel uh, tells you all the libraries you'll need to install, and it's very standard uh, NeoPixel code for Arduino. It's just, I was flashing a pre-made pre bin there for uh, expediency. And you can see once you have uh, everything installed per the setup there, You'll be able to select that board as a CH32V20X and the board select for the specific Adafruit QD Pi. So those board definitions have been made and uh, you can follow the instructions over here on uh, this Arduino IDE setup page to get that up and running. Uh, let's see, what else? Uh, let me know if you have any questions in the chat. By the way, there's the chat if you're wondering. Uh, if you're coming to us from somewhere else, uh, thank you. Uh, local admin is the name of uh, someone over in the YouTube chat. Hello, nice chip, small form factor. I like it. They say, yeah, it's a cutie pie is a really nice form factor. It's the the Zhao C Zhao form factor uh, with some little um, adjustments that Lamore made, and then we've got loads of different chips running on it. Uh, I don't know. This is probably the fifth or sixth one that we've got on there. Maybe more. Uh, with this new WCH-based chip. Uh, and then our other chat, if you're wondering, is over on Discord. So you can head to adafru.it slash Discord and look for this live broadcast chat channel uh, where Todd has posted our good friend Max Headroom. <laughs> Network 23. Uh, all right, so let me see. Here are a couple of nice close-ups of the board that you can check out there. Uh, looks like a cutie pie as, as you're used to, all the standard stuff on there. Uh, you'll, you may have noticed over in the Arduino page of the guide, uh, you can do some I2C scan just to test out that STEM QT port uh, and then try different sensors that we have Arduino libraries for uh, to see if those will run on there. Like I say, this is early uh, early days on this chip and on this board, so you're you're a pioneer if you're using this. So just uh, expect to run into um, problem-solving opportunities. I'll call them as you as you dive in with this chip and uh, and this board. All right. So I think that uh, is pretty much it. Last thing I'll show you actually over on the. Uh, guide page, if you scroll down, you'll see there's a downloads page, and from there you can check out uh, product page from WCH. So this is uh, the description of this chip here, lots of uh, extra data on there uh, if you want to find out some more of the specs and stats. Um, here was the HID keyboard example, and rather than set up buttons, I just had a single wire just to make it quick and easy to set up. Uh, and there is the 
chip. Let's see, we still have it in stock. So yeah, you can you can get those uh, up until a few minutes after the show ends. Usually the price will go back up. But for right now, it's two dollars forty eight cents. Nice uh, nice bargain there. And that is going to do it. So that right there is my product pick of the week this week. Week. That's my product pick of the week this week. It is the Cutie Pie CH thirty two V two o three G six. Braidford Industries. I'm John Park. This has been JP's product pick of the week. I'll see you next time.